So here we have a problem that says, give an example of an expression stating that the two ratios are in proportion. Then construct a table and rewrite the expression by applying different properties of proportion that you have learned in this lesson. So I came up with an original proportion of 2 over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. And you usually write a proportion, we can write that as like, for example, A over B is equal to C over D. And we know that this is a proportion only if these two sides are equal. We can verify that it's equal by using the cross product property. The cross product property is when we take D, we multiply it by A to make AD is equal to, and we take B and multiply it by C to make BC. I like to think of this, you can call it a cross product. I like to call it the butterfly method. So you're like making a little butterfly with your multiplication and you have to have an equal sign in between in order to do that. So keep that in mind. So using the cross product property, we can take 10, multiply it by two to make 20. And that would be equal to five multiplied by four is also 20. So that verifies that this proportion is in fact equal to each other. And um, cause we got the same number on both sides. Next, let's talk about the reciprocal property. The reciprocal property is when you take the original proportion and you flip both sides, you take the reciprocal of both sides. So that would be B over A is equal to D over C in a formula kind of method. So doing that with the numbers, we just flip both sides. So the five goes on top, the two goes on bottom, and that's equal to the 10 goes on top and the four goes on bottom. And we want to verify that this is still equal to each other by getting the cross product property over here in this column now. So we multiply the 4 by the 5, which makes 20, is equal to 2 times 10, which is also 20. So that's verified that this reciprocal property is still equal to each other. Next, the alternation property. The alternation property uses the formula of we have B over, or sorry, sorry, not B, let me go back. The alternation property is A over C is equal to D, oh, I said that wrong again, sorry about that. A over C is equal to B over D. There we go. A over C is equal to B over D. So we're basically saying the top two, or the, the left side top over the right side top is equal to the left side bottom over the right side bottom. So let's do that with our numbers. The left side top we say with two divided by the right side top is four is equal to the left side bottom, which is five over the right side bottom, which is 10. So two over four is equal to five over 10. And we can multiply using the cross product property. 10 times two is 20 is equal to four times five, which is also 20. So again, it shows that this alternation property does in fact work with the numbers that we chose for our original proportion. Next, we wanna go on to the addition property. So the addition property says that if we do a plus B over B, that that is equal to C plus D over D. So that's using our, our, like our original formula that we had. Using the numbers, we get two plus five over five is equal to four plus 10 over 10, which can simplify to 7 over 5 is equal to 14 over 10. And multiplying these using the cross product property to verify that this is true, 10 times 7 is 70, and that's equal to 5 times 14, which is also 70. So this would be our addition property um, proportion. The subtraction property proportion is similar in that instead of pluses, we have minuses. So it'd be A minus B over B 
is equal to C minus D over D. So plugging in our numbers that we had in our original proportion is 2 minus 5 over 5 is equal to 4 minus 10 over 10. At 2 minus 5 is negative 3, so negative 3 over 5 is equal to 4 minus 10 is negative 6, so negative 6 over 10. And using the cross product property to make sure that these two things are in fact equal, we get 10 times negative 3 is negative 30 is equal to 5 times negative 6 is also negative 30. So that confirms that the subtraction property did in fact work. Alrighty, and the last property is our sum property. So our sum property, what we want to do is to take our original proportion, which is the 2 over 5, oops, let me do that in, in black. We're wanting to show that 2 over 5 is equal to 4 over 10 by saying that it's equal to a, common, a, a constant of proportionality. So if we look at 2 over 5, 2 and 5 don't have any common um, factors, so we can't divide anything out of that. So we'll make 2 over 5 as our k. But our 4 over 10, because they're both even, we can divide out a 2 on top and bottom. And that brings us to 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we get that constant of proportionality is 2 over 5. And to do the, the sum property, we want to do A plus C over B plus D and see that that is also the same constant of proportionality. So our A plus C is 2 plus 4 divided by our B plus D is 5 plus 10. So when we add that, 2 plus 4 is 6 and 5 plus 10 is 15. But these both have a a common factor of 3. So if we divide out a 3 on top and bottom, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we get back to our original constant of proportionality, which was 2 over 5. So we can say that 2 over 5 is the constant of proportionality. Proportionality. There we go. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody you think might find this information useful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar videos. I have information down in the description about how you can contact me for if you would like tutoring or if you are interested in. Um, sending me an email for a video um, if you'd like to see one of those. Thanks for watching.